what science is supposed to be is experiential. It's supposed to be empirical. The word empirical means based on experience. So it's not misleading to take our experience of consciousness seriously. It's the only data we have. Consciousness is experience. So if we're going to understand consciousness, our personal experience of vision, for example, is not irrelevant. It's enormously relevant. It's what's going on. The idea that there may be many forms of consciousness in nature, widespread in almost all cultures except mechanistic materialist, scientifically infused Western culture since the 17th century, is, I think, a reasonable point of view and fits with many people's experience of nature. Many people experience the natural worlds as alive, not as just as dead and mechanical. And the idea of an ultimate consciousness from which our own minds are derived and with which we can connect through mystical insight, through direct connection, um, is again found all over the world and is experienced by many people in Britain today. To dismiss that as a mere illusion produced by a disordered brain uh, is, is um, again putting theory above experience because the immediate experience I think is telling us something about the nature of reality.